Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys my new updated foundation routine and whatnot, you know, for my summer. Like, I think I said I was going to call it what? My everyday foundation routine. But I don't wear makeup every day. I ain't got time for all that, you know. But yeah, so this is my summertime makeup routine and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and get to learn some tips and whatnot. Well, hello there. How you been? So I'm going to prime my face with the Laura Gala Spackland Mattifying Primer. This is primer for oily skin. So if you got oily skin, well, go ahead and get you this primer because it's decent. <laughs> This is another, this is something new that I added one to my, you know, foundation process and stuff. It helps with oily skin. This is like perfect for oily skin people. And now, if you apply this on your face before you do all the extra steps, I'm telling you, your, your foundation, your face gonna be dry. Not like dry, but like you won't be sweating. You won't be dripping in no glossiness. Like, this is a great, like, perfect primer for oily skin people. I'm telling you. So I apply this in my T-zone areas and whatnot. Like, the places where I tend to be more oily. I don't know why my nose be so oily. Or, like, it produces its own oil. So I just finished with my eyebrows. I to go in with my concealer and start off my foundation process you can see how the milk of magnesia has dried up like all over like all over my face whatever so i'll be using my la girl pro concealer in the shade beauty beautiful bronze come on girl squeeze squeeze it up Wow, this stuff is not trying to come out, bro. This stuff is actually frightening me. She literally squirts all over my face. <gasps> I'm going to use the brush to apply it first before I use my beauty blender to blend it all in. Gee, like, this stuff is like, what's going on? Talk to me. So I'm going to apply it only underneath my eye and try to like clean my eyeshadow. Like so just wiping it underneath here. Clean it up. I don't use tape anymore when I'm doing my eyeshadow because my foundation cleans it. My foundation or concealer cleans it out better and gives it that more defined look. Better and I have more control over it. And it's still not bad to use the um what do you call it? The tape and whatnot. So I'll just apply it underneath my eye. Like so. So the whole time that I was struggling on using that other one, I had an other one. I knew there was a reason why I had that degree. Come on girl. Always gotta have double, you know, just in case you run out. So now we're gonna go in and blend it with my BB, okay, blender, and blend everything in nice and, you know, neat. Blend it all in, that's it. Kind of bring it down some more while I'm bringing it to my spread it now. Blending. And that's the key in all our shindigs. It's blend. So now I'll be using a mixture of black opal foundation. Your liquid foundation I'll be using um suede mocha and some of the mixture. I got the other shades made. Let me figure that out. I'll figure it out. So I'm just going to apply 
apply this with my brush again. That is all. using this black opal foundation stick as a contour stick contour my face a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here hmm. Now I'm about to go in with my powder, Laura Mercier, pouring it all over my face. I am making all over my face with this, I'm using the bottom of my beauty blender to kind of like dab it on, just dab in motion. Just 
gonna set underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna do my nose. Just my eye. Nowhere else. But I got my eyelashes and whatnot. It's going to put. So now I'm going to use my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Ebony as my, you know, my contour, powder contour. Oh, 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 
Oh, oh, oh.